And first tonight, thousands of families' homes are without gas for the second night in a row. This is happening in Eaton. It's about a 70-minute drive north of Denver near Greeley. Residents tell Denver 7 CB Cotton they have been waiting for service to be restored now since Tuesday morning. And in the meantime, local businesses are being forced to close. Not much can interrupt the peaceful pace in the town of Eaton, but this week brought a new challenge for residents like Sharon Rhodes. Somebody from the gas company just came by and said that there was a problem. Atmos Energy releasing this statement on Tuesday, saying their crews were working to restore natural gas service to 2,500 homes and businesses in Eaton and along Highway 85 in Northeast Greeley. The only problem I had was I had to boil water to wash dishes. Most customers still have electricity, but the strain of the outage keeping restaurants closed in and around First Street, especially the ones who rely on natural gas to power ovens. But it signs like this. No gas not open and empty streets that let people know something is up. The owner of Eaton Pizza and Subs telling Denver 7 he was told the outage could last anywhere from two to five days and he estimates he could lose up to $2,000 in revenue. The closed pizza shop and grill next door meant less foot traffic for Ron Lauer's own business across the street. None today. No. Denver 7 reached out to Atmos Energy for details on what caused the outage, but a spokesperson for the company hasn't responded to our question, and the town of Eaton didn't have any additional details to provide. I was going to order a cake. I went to the grocery store, and, and they can't bake until Friday. I don't know how long this is going to last. CB Cotton, Denver 7.